I'm thinking today we're going to go find Canehurst Castle. It was mentioned by Alfred, one of the executioners. We have on our person key item. A summons inviting us to Baking Castle, Canehurst. Go from Hemwick Charnel Lane. Which we will do right now. Hemwick's actually going to be a bit more difficult for us now. Because we've moved, we've moved the night on, so a different enemy spawned. Not much more difficult, but notably difficult. Those enemies that spawn the boss of this area, they will now be spawning for us everywhere. But we should be okay. We're a little overpowered for this area now. I think it's safe to say. No response. I'm gonna get many responses from anyone this late into the night. I believe this is the way. It might not be. I don't think it is. Yeah, these things. Not the way. Okay. It means it's the other shortcut, so I know where I'm going. What did I attack there? Oh, okay. I did not know that was a thing. Anyway, let us continue on to Canehurst Castle, which is the way. That's just what I needed, a bloodstone shard. I'll add it to the other 50 that I've got. I used to be so good at the timing of that. Not anymore though. I believe it's over here somewhere. By the dogs. The enemies around here don't give me too much trouble anymore. Please, Will. Almost died. Got cocky. Oh, there's another one. I got a bit cocky there, didn't I? Bone marrow ash. I believe bone marrow ash is the damage of your firearms. Is it this way? I f I've, I'm lost now, I forget. Not be. But I've been able to get, but. Lake room. Because we're looking out across a lake. I saw the moon. Normal area, which I always found interesting. I'm not sure what, exactly what that means. 
but we got the lake room. Increases physical damage reduction. Pretty handy to be honest. I thought it was over here somewhere. Might be wrong. I thought it was past up past these. Is it not past these guys? It was here somewhere. So this is Bloodborne's take on Dracula, I like to think. This is how Dracula starts. Get taken to a castle on a stagecoach. Has similar vibes to it. So this area that we're going to right now, it's completely optional, but it's handy to do. Get a lot of shards and whatnot. I think we'll be able to get enough bloodstone chunks from this area. Upgrade our weapon. There's the castle in the distance. Curious. The bridge is blocked. Droid. Curious, isn't it? I love this place though, it's so cool looking. I like snowy levels. Snowy levels are also some enemies which I'm not sure how difficult it's going to be for me, based on my level. Level of my weapon might not be too bad, but they're quite difficult. Let's see Cold Blood 9. Yeah. These friends here took up blood. Selves on blood. Sorry. Not too bad. I 
Something miss prevents healing, I think. It's more like a PvP item. You can come here quite early on. So quite difficult if you come here so you can come here straight away. See they they hit quite hard. Especially when you suck at dodging all of a sudden. Tinge gemstones from them though. Kinda wanna explore this area a bit first. Before we head into the castle proper. Here. Much items fine. Firefighting too. Oh, well, three of them even. One at a time. on this weapon is very handy. But it's very, very engorged. Covered in blood. Amazing. I always thought you got some bloodstone chunks from here. Died. I did not. Got a whole bunch of blood echoes though. That's like another level, so careful. Door kind of opens itself when you go into it. Very spooky. Like 40,000 souls or something. Have a look now. I know they're called blood echoes, I just call them souls because habit. So this castle, this castle was once home to old nobles. They're kind of actively interacting with Yarnum. Notably they were acting with members of the interacting with Birch. What happened was that one of the scholars of Bergenworth stole some of the old blood and he actually bought it here to Canehurst. And this led the healing church to spread the rumor that the vile bloods were threatening the sanctity of the church and it started a war with Canehurst. That's where the executioners were founded. Most of the citizens of Canehurst and the vile bloods were killed. Now this is all that's left of Canehurst Castle and the head of the executioners, Ligarius, became like the jailer for the queen of the vile bloods. The location of this castle was lost. And we've met Alfred who, already, who's one of the executioners, and he's searching for Ligarius and the Queen. <laughs> of course, this place has an incredibly thick atmosphere. And there's spooky ghosts! The right of Palash, which is a weapon. I can't equip because I don't have enough blood tinge for it. Like a pokey sword. I don't think this place is going to be too bad. The boss might give me trouble, but I don't think the actual area is going to be too bad for me. I 
got to be a bit careful. That's... I don't think the enemies keep respawning. I just think there's a lot of them. Some of them can be dangerous. Certain kinds that kind of stun, that can stun lock you, cause a lot of damage. You have to keep your wits about you still. Shouldn't be too bad. Gotta be careful and take it nice and steady and slow. Because that happens. <laughs> Get ambushed pretty easily. I believe those are the ones that can stun lock you. The ones that cry in the corner. Get a noble dress which we could try on. Yeah, they have slit throats that you may have noticed. But I think these were just these were just these are like spirits of walls that used to live here. One of those places that just has an awesome atmosphere. Love it. Oh, remember the gargoyles. The gargoyles come to life too, because of course they do. Wherever that guy went. There you are. I think by the time we're done here, we're going to have a decent amount of blood echoes too. Probably head back halfway. The enemies make such creepy noises. Probably be better off using the fast weapon, to be honest here. Damage. Yeah, you can hit quite hard, can't you? I think something similar to the right of Palash. To it. I don't think it's exactly the same. Babies cry even all the way out here. I think that's the way you have to go. That way. This is... Dead end up here. <laughs> the execution is set. Twin bloodstone shards. Twin bloodstone shards aren't very useful to me.
our first shortcut, so we'll head back. Get the vile blood register. What? Record of everyone loyal to the Covenant of Annalise, Queen of the Vile Bloods at Cainhurst Castle. I think we got about two levels now, so let us head back. I think this takes us all the way back to the courtyard. It does. Yeah, and the level design's always on point, isn't it? Games. Where's she at this time? Again? Hello. Welcome home. What is it here? Very well, let me. I think the max is out of 30. I feel like I'm doing okay for stamina for a little bit. Are you here yet? He's here! Hooray! Oh, Lawrence. What's taking you so long? I've grown too old for this. Of little use now, I'm afraid. Oh. Not the one that I wanted, but showing some stuff, isn't it? Yeah, man does have a backstory. Like, really important to the plot. That one. I don't know why I'd, I was just looking at it, like, where am I going? Going back where I came from, obviously. Alright, now we need to carefully, carefully move our way through here. Don't let them sneak up on you. Gonna get this guy. <laughs> Gonna screw me over. No. Gonna keep on your toes. One at a time. We gotta get through this mess. Ok, 
guys can be quite annoying. Have to just have to hit them. <laughs> gotta not suck. That's the key to this game. If you're struggling with this game, all you gotta do is not be bad at it, like me. Alright, we don't wanna mess around with this guy. He could, he could catch us off guard. Like that. Over here, friend. You can hit me from all over there. Gotta be careful when there's freaking low dark guys around because that happens. Get really close to dying. See what I mean? If you're not <laughs> if you're not paying attention, you can be all over in an instant. Yeah, I should have just rushed for this guy. I don't know what I was doing. That's where we have to go. First, let's explore over here. I don't think this is dangerous, but... Uh. He was dangerous! <laughs> they do sneak up on you if you're not careful. You're also dangerous, aren't you? No more cleaning! That's enough chunks, is it not, for... Oh, hello. Out of everything. You go around and then come back through here, I think, anyway. And I got a way outside, right? Oh. I don't actually know. It's been a while since I played it. You're flapping! Oh, what the hell? That's not fair! Leave me alone! Dick! Yeah, this is where the shortcut is. This is where I got lost for a really long time the first time I played it. I kind of bolted through here and I'm like, oh, okay, shortcut, then went back. The ladder here. <laughs> Which I never... It took me a, an embarrassingly long amount of time to find that ladder. Not, not ideal. I've definitely got enough. And 
gonna get down here. Alright, I kind of want to do this boss first time because of the run. When I do get the boss, I want to do it first time because the run back is a bit obnoxious. Hey, a bit, the run back is very obnoxious. No more slap! Only die! What do you want to do? Drop down somewhere, right? Somewhere you have to drop down. It doesn't look like it's somewhere you can go, but it is somewhere you can go. Might be here. Might not have been, I might have screwed myself. I think it's the Kin Cold Blood. You can trivialize this boss if you're good at parrying. I'm not <laughs> very good at parrying. So he can't give me trouble. I'll try my best. Yeah, this essentially is the run back to it, so... Not, not great. Great run back. Not incredible. Do I have anything stronger with? I do. I don't really remember his moves at either, so it might take me a couple of tries. Marta Lagarius, let's go! a bit careful for now. I might figure out what he can do. I don't remember too well. There's a shitload of damage if you get hit by it though. A lot of damage if you get hit by him.
need to attack these swords like ASAP. Okay, now he's getting angry. Let's just back up a little bit. That's why you need to destroy these swords. Oh! That sword's gotta go! <laughs> I got done in by the sword. I panicked. You gotta stay on him. That's the problem. You can't really back off and hesitate. Because you gotta destroy that sword because it just makes it so much more difficult. There's certain attacks that you can parry, like, quite easily. Decently easily. Didn't do it. Kind of leaps up into the air. You can interrupt it quite easily. Okay, it's this Yeah, as you can see, the, the run back is freaking obnoxious. Not like egregiously bad or anything, it's just, it's annoying. And I find the run back on, run backs on these games just annoying in general anyway. I feel like a big selling point for people. I don't know why. I found it kind of dumb myself. Drop down, is it not? This one is... There's definitely worse ones in the franchise. Annoying that you take a bit of damage there though. Right, so his first phase isn't too bad, it's his second phase where he goes all sick or more annoying. First phase. Where did I die? It was over here, right? Bloodstain. A lot of souls in that bloodstain. No idea where it is. There it is. Oh, now you're doing melee attacks. You weren't doing that before. Dodge. Bullshit. On the freaking range on that. That's the that's the one. I'm just not in my right weapon. Gotta get the timing right on that. Oh come on! It's the delay. 
<laughs> it's the delay, but it's, it's like the animation delay that I keep forgetting about. Stay on him, stay on him. Heal. dodged forwards. Why did I dodge backwards like a moron? Oh, man. Why did I dodge backwards like an idiot? I know better. I should know better than to do that. Oh, I got so lucky in that one as well. He barely did the sword thing. That was my own fault. I dodged backwards. Panicked again. All, this, all these years playing these games and I still panic. Yeah, as you can see, he's not too bad. If you can get your timing, if you can get your timing right for your parries, he's not too bad. Upgrade my weapon. If I had an upgraded weapon, he'd be dead now. I would have done it because I'd have done enough damage to him. I love a lot of souls riding on this. Being done. We'll get him this time. Thought I had him last time. <laughs> in full health and ready. then what on earth did he do then <laughs> oh, I was trying to stun lock him I might be better off using the fast weapon on him actually I will be I mean get used to this because when I when I hit the DLC there's gonna be a lot of this He's stupidly hard. That's if I even bother to do the DLC at all. <laughs> I probably will, though. It'll just be the bulk of the episodes of this playthrough. 
Thank you. That was great and ideal and everything I wanted from you. I think I'm better off with a fast weapon on this guy. do yes otherwise i just gotta stay away from the guy i think it's hit it's gonna be hit and run tactics i think at first because yeah if you just get caught in the get caught in the wrong place like i just did that's it <laughs> that that attempt's over on that is deceptive. fighting you in that corner, I almost died. on that man come on what's wrong with you oh, I missed oh, come on All right he's put the sword down I need to get it Timing right. Get the timing right, come on. Timing right on your dodges at least, come on! And he comes into you. Unlock on that once you get hit with it. That's what screws you over. I don't think this attempt's gonna work. Gotta get good. Gotta get good. Range! You always think you're out of range and you're not. Yeah. 
Back off, back off, back off. Whew, got him. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was a doomed, doomed attempt. But it wasn't. We're all good. Okay. That gives us... <laughs> Gives us the crown of illusions, which we're gonna wear in a sec. By a sec, I mean now. One of the precious secrets of Canehurst, the old king's crown, is said to reveal illusions and expose a mirage that hides the secrets. So Logarius donned the crown of his own volition, determined to prevent a single soul from stumbling upon the vile secrets. What visions did he see, sitting serenely upon his new throne? me. Now I am the king. All that blood on my face. Moon-scented hunter. I am Annalise, queen of Castle Canehurst. <laughs> Ruler of the vile bloods and sworn enemy of the church. Yet our people are murdered and we are prisoner to this wretched mask. What is it thou art in search of? Well, an odd hunter thou art indeed. Who's tired of these piteous nights? Share in our plight and take oath against the church. If thou wouldst this path walk, I prithee partake of my rotted blood. Oh. Otherwise, choice there is no more to a wave. That just turns on like the PvP stuff. Got an unopened summons, and there's only one guy we're gonna give this to. Go find Alfred. I believe was he's in the cathedral ward isn't he he's on the way to the forbidden forest I can remember where that is oh flora of the moon of the dream oh little ones oh fleeting wheel of the ancients let the hunter be safe. Let him find comfort. And let this dream, his captor, foretell a pleasant awakening. 
captor. Ah, I'm what is very let me. Farewell, good mate. Don't need this crown anymore. Or a cool wig though. Got a cool wig. Iron helmet. Cool hat. Pretty dress that we could wear. Execution guard looks quite cool. I like Henrik's stuff. So if we head to the Cathedral Ward now, we can find Alfred and give him this unopened summons to tell him where Canehurst Castle is, because he was searching for it, wasn't he? Still a bit, still a bit worse for wear. Hello, except for you. <laughs> Gives us sedatives though, which is handy. Definitely. Right, which way was it? Was it this way? Not this way. The soldier on him. Oh, friend. in a bit in a while actually but this way either the other way hey this cool hat you know get lost I'm trying to find this place I did I did earlier didn't I too damn curse Sucky boy alone. Yeah, here we go. Hello. Oh. Oh. To see you safe. Now let's think up something to discuss. Just tell me what piques your in. Aha! Is that the sigil of Canehurst? I've heard tell of Canehurst nobles and their amusingly pompous invitations. Wonderful. I thank you profusely. I will depart immediately, but first, a token of my gratitude. Eel Hunter Badge. Ah, I feel my master's hand at work. Praise the good blood, and let us cleanse these tarnished streets. Oh, what have I done?
Wake up. Ah, I'm what if farewell, good smith. The thing about the Queen, Queen Annalise is she's immortal, so she can't die. Master, look, I've done it. I've done it. I've smashed and pounded and grounded this rotten siren into fleshy pink pulp. There, you filthy monstrosity. What good's your immortality now? Try stirring up trouble in this sorry state. All mangled and twisted with every inside on the outside for all the world to see. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad that you're okay. Weenly flesh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. You, is it? Look at this. Thanks to you, I've done it. Well, isn't it wonderful? Now Master can be canonized as a true martyr. <laughs> I've done it. I have. <laughs> I've done it. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Also, we can get that pyramid head helmet. I'm gonna get it. I think it's like... I think it's really expensive, though. I think the kin cold blood should cover us. No. Then we can cosplay as Pyramid Head too! We have a bunch of stuff, right? Oh, we got the Tenitrus. Legarius' wheel too. Floors of the vile bloods in Canehurst, bathed in pools of their blood and forever steeped in their ire. Sixty thousand? Odd helmet worn by the band of executioners, commanded by the martyr Legarius. Conical gold helmet, symbol of the executioners, curiosity, ambition, and an unflagging resolve to fate and purity, staring it down with a stern golden spirit. The great Ligarius once said, Acts of goodness are not always wise, and acts of evil are not always foolish. Regardless, we shall always strive to be good. That's quite expensive. I don't know if I want to spend that, min that many that stuff on it, to be honest. Right now, anyway. I always thought that gave you more than it does. Yeah, let's not waste all of our blood echoes on that. Home, good what is cool as it looks. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. And that's enough for one evening. I think next time we shall do the other optional areas and maybe the other two optional areas and then depending on how long those take we'll carry on with the rest of the story too. I'm still debating whether or not I want to do the DLC because I am going to get hard stuck <laughs> on some of the bosses and I don't want this series to just go on for ages. It's meant to be like a cozy playthrough but I don't know maybe I'll try it 
And if I get hard stuck, then we'll just see how I feel at the time. But either way, we don't need to do the DLC to the very end anyway. So I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.